This segment is brought to you by Central National Bank. Put our ag professionals to work for you. One of the potential integral parts of water conservation, subsurface drip irrigation. These systems have been researched for quite a while by Kansas State University, in fact, for the last 25 years, to give us a status report on SDI as an irrigation concept in Kansas, Danny Rogers. Danny is a research and extension irrigation engineer here at Kansas State, and he's been directly involved with SDI for those 25 years, Danny. For those uninitiated, explain the concept of subsurface drip irrigation, how it differs from our center pivot and flood systems. Subsurface drip irrigation, uh is a permanent installation of drip irrigation or micro irrigation tubing uh, that is uh, placed underground. Usually the con standard configuration is every other row in the furrows of every other row. So that would be a five foot spacing on a 30 inch traditional row. And these these plastic tubes are have slow uh, emitter, slow drip emitters that are either lasered in or installed in so the water is applied directly to the root zone. Usually the lines, the drip tapes are, are, apply, are installed about 16 inches below ground although 12 to 18 might be a common range of installation depth. And this conceptually is the uh, optimum as far as conserving water. No runoff involved here and uh, little evaporation from the soil. Because the water is applied underground, the surface always remains dry, and so uh, with the that leaves the surface then receptive to uh, absorbing rainfall. Because it's a dry surface, uh, in between irrigation of or there's no wetting of the surface. Therefore, we have no soil loss uh, evaporation uh, because of the again the surface never gets wet from irrigation. K State has been at it for. 25 years studying these systems. What can be said, generally speaking, about water savings? What's accomplished there? When we're able to uh, highly uh, efficiently put this water on, we're able to cut the water usage by approximately 25 percent over our traditional systems that apply water through the surface of the soil. And, and that's whether it's a center pivot system or a flood system, the water has to be applied to the surface of the soil and then infiltrate in. So impressive gains, really. Yes, uh, it's very highly efficient, uh, very productive systems, uh, uh, because then we use those systems also to spoon feed nutrients and some of the other things, just as we do uh, with the center pivot, but we are even able to fine tune it more uh, because again, we can put on very small amounts of water uh, right into the root zone and so we can either add water or a nutrient as needed and so they're very very productive systems. There's one essential here that has to be covered wherever you are using SDI and that is assuring that the quality of water you're running through the system is up to specs. That's for the long-term maintenance of the system itself if nothing else. That's right and uh, and that was when we first started this 25 years ago. Uh, water quality issues were our, our biggest concern. In fact, clogging of drip systems, whether subsurface or surface drip irrigation systems, are still the number one reason for failure in the world. Uh, but again, it's a problem that with proper design of the system up front and proper management of the system where operational, uh, you can operate these systems for a very long time. Now, there are times where you might decide that that particular source of water might be more effort than you want to put into it, but that's part of the design and, and consideration that we try to educate people with through these, through our either our research and then our extension programs, saying here are the considerations and uh, uh, here's, the, here's the management strategy to overcome this, and uh, uh, then they can make a, a form decision whether or not they want to adopt that particular system into their operation. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here now, putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. 